Arte, Welgati Kamea. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I did an avatar look and I wasn't sure about posting a tutorial, but I got an overwhelming response to do so. So I'm putting this out here for you guys. I'm not a makeup guru by any means, but hopefully this helps somebody out there. I started off by painting my entire face with this blue paradise makeup from Meron. I'll put the link for the product in the description box. I purchased this paint from Amazon and you basically just dip your brush in water and then into the product and just dab it all over your face. I ended up having to do a second coat to cover my face completely. This paint does not transfer on your clothing or your hair. It doesn't crease. I had it on for about six hours with no problems, no issues whatsoever. I didn't go outside or sweat in it either though. In hindsight, I really didn't have to paint my ears, but this was definitely a first time experience for me. So please bear that in mind. So once I got the blue that I wanted, I just basically took this cheap old eyeshadow palette that I picked up from like a five and below or something. And I just used it to kind of highlight areas of my face. The blue paint just looked very flat. So I'm just kind of highlighting certain areas to just make my features stand out a bit more. I'm not using any like high quality makeup or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you guys what colors I use. And if there's anything in particular you want to know, just leave a comment below. So I'm just contouring my nose very widely. The Navi have very wide set noses and just contouring out the rest of my face. And now I'm just going to take my old Coastal Scents palette and I'm going to pick up a shiny light blue color just to kind of enhance my nose more. I'm really trying to get that wide set nose area that the Navi have with just highlighting and contouring. And now I'm going to use that same shiny blue eyeshadow to just put some little highlights here and there and just basically blend everything together. So now comes the fun part. And I'm just using a old black eyeliner pencil that I had laying around to line out my stripes. The Navi all have their own different patterns to distinguish themselves from one another. So you can kind of go nuts here. But I did find a couple of different pictures online that I was using as reference. And this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just basically lining out your design, but try to be as asymmetrical as you can. And I forgot about my eyebrows, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this black eyeliner to darken those up a little bit and continue on with my pattern. I forgot to mention that I am using this Solotica Hydrocore Avelas for contacts. So now I'm just taking some more of that black eyeshadow and I'm kind of just blending it in with the eye pencil. Um, if you look at pictures online, their stripes just kind of blend in with their skin. You know, they're not very stark um, lines. So just kind of blend those in for a realistic look. And for a little bit more depth, I'm going to actually take some white eyeshadow and put it right in the middle of those dark lines. It just makes it look a little bit more interesting in my opinion. And I was real upset about this, but I actually recorded putting these dots all over my face, but my memory was full, so it actually did not take or keep the recording. So I basically just took some white paint and a small tiny little brush and put spots all over my face, as you can see. And now I'm just taking that same black eyeliner and putting that little line that the Navi have on their noses. It looks like little cat or lion noses that they have there, super cute and some neon pink eyeshadow to color that nose pink. 
and I initially put that same neon pink on my lips but I didn't really like the way it was showing up and I figured that it would kind of come off easily so I just used a very hot pink lipstick instead. This is some hot pink wet n wild lipstick. And now I'm just taking some more black eyeshadow and I'm just putting some in the crease of my eyes to give my eyes a little bit more depth. And I'm following that up with some pink eyeshadow that I'm just using as blush. Um, a lot of the reference pictures that I saw, the Navi had a little bit of, you know, warm color to their blue skin, so I thought that that would look nice. So this is pretty much it. I mean, you could totally stop here, but I wanted to add some false eyelashes and some eyeliner, so I'm going to do that next. I think that gives my Navi character just a little bit more glam. What do you guys think? And now you can either braid your hair, leave it down, style it however you want, or get a braided wig like I have here. I'll leave where I purchased this unit in the description box. And obviously the skin parting on this unit does not match blue skin, but you could always use some eyeshadow in there to make it look more realistic. This is optional of course, but go ahead and add fangs if you'd like, and I also went ahead and painted the rest of the top of my body. Okay, last last step for real, um, add feathers or whatever accessories you want to kind of customize your Navi and you are basically done. Okay guys, so that's the finished look. Um, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful in any way. Please remember, this is my first time doing this. I've never done a full makeup, cosplay, anything like this ever. Um, so if you did think it turned out okay, let me know in the comments. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm totally going to be doing more of these, and you might want to stick around for those. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks again. Bye. Eyo ngahu. Keo me.